Good, fantastic morning to y'all guys. How are you doing? Check this out, blue skies and sunshine. I'm in Orlando. Look at this newly painted welcome sign. Walt Disney World where dreams come true. There's Mickey Mouse. Oh boy. <laughs> it's been a while guys. If uh, you've been following me long enough, you remember that I kind of got gypped out of my Disney plans for March last year when all this craziness started. So um, I'm gonna get it in before anything changes in this country. I, I am really happy. I even booked for Wilderness Campground. So that's where we're heading first today. I'm uploading this video with some Nomad internet. There is a link below if you need some mobile unlimited internet. For now, let's head on into the Magic Kingdom Resort area. Boy, this place changes every single year I come back. Oh, look at this. There's actually a sign that says Fort Wilderness Campground Right Lanes. That's new so that you don't accidentally go through the Magic Kingdom entrance. Yeah, thanks for that, guys. Makes it a little less confusing. Oh, this is cool. So before, you used to have to go through the Magic Kingdom gates, get all checked in, and then you go to Fort Wilderness. Now we have this separate little turn off driveway to avoid the long lines of people trying to get in the theme park so that we can go park first. Yeah, if you don't know a whole lot about uh, Fort Wilderness, that's kind of what this video is about. We're not going into a theme park today, but we are gonna look around the, the most awesome epic campground inside the Magic Kingdom Resort in Walt Disney World Orlando. And uh, I cannot wait to get settled. And the only thing guaranteed is that everything is going to be different, guys. <laughs> if you're used to it a certain way, it's going to be different. There's our sign, Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. See, same logo on my shirt. I haven't changed that. And, um, well, let's just go see how this check-in process works because they did give me uh, an online check-in. Said I'm just going to breeze right through. I've never gone through. You guys have seen me go through here. This has never happened. Usually there'd be hour long waits in all six of these bays here. And now it's just drive right in. They also used to not allow you to check in until after 3 p.m. But they changed that before the pandemic and everything. Now you, now they want to get people in at 9 a.m. so they can start working through this. All right, well that was super easy. Holy cow, that system, honestly, I think they could keep it like that forever. That is so much easier than the way things used to be. We are going to be checking into the 1700 loop and uh, man, this is so cool. I'm glad I'm not stressed about getting in all my theme park experiences. More on that later. That This is just about the campground and we're going to do a few things here at the Wilderness Lodge and stuff. Jax, you checking it out, man? All right, man, you ain't right. I uh, see right here the uh, hitch and unhitch area. That's for uh, removing your toad, which works wonderful when your significant other can hop out and drive the car to your campsite. But for one person, uh, we are going to have to do this uh, in the loop itself, but it's not very busy right now. So I don't think it's going to be a, 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 a huge deal. Plus, you guys saw I can do it in 29 seconds. 29 seconds. Where's my loop? Right here. Guess not wearing mask properly will be asked to leave. I'm gonna have to read the rules because she didn't say anything about having to wear your mask in the campground. 1600 to 1900 and we are 1700, so that's us. Let's get all these palm trees and the woods. Uh, it's a little tight through here. There's my site and uh, of course there's a golf cart that's gonna block it. Uh, to be, oh, I'll unhook the car then. Jax, ma'am, would you like to go investigate any picnic tables? Are there any picnic tables that Jax would like to investigate? Oh my gosh, he's really pulling there. Just climb up on that one. Check this one out. Make sure this one's okay. Wanna hop up? Yeah, you wanna show up everybody your, your cool leash that uh, Josh got for you? Yeah, it's got Mickey on his leash. And of course you guys know how much Jax likes Mickey, so there's his ID. T I need to get a new one actually while, while we're here. We might have to. Checked in with one of the rangers on the golf cart here. You don't have to wear your mask while you're at your campsite, as long as you can social distance or inside your RV. But other than that, almost everywhere, you kind of have to wear a mask because we're inside the resort park Magic Kingdom area. So put Jack's inside so he's safe from all the wild turkeys around here. So uh, yeah, I'm in the 1700 loop. I've got 
a 60 foot pad here, which I just want to show you for a 60 foot pad, my RV fits back and tater tot fits fine. You could actually fit three different tater tots in front of my RV. That's how big these sites are. So along the back side, every site here for an RV is full hookups, which is so nice to have. They even give you their, their own hose in case you forgot to bring your hose, but we got drinking water. We got a dump station here, full hookup sewer. You do have to have the threaded input so that no fumes can get out. Of course they have a 50 amp back here. You're kind of nestled in the, the, the pine trees as you can see all the, the pine cones coming down from the fall and the winter. And every once in a while there's some palm plants, like I forgot what you call these, but we do have some palm plants of sorts and some sites are even lucky enough to have actual palm trees instead of pine trees, but it's just so pretty through here. I always say it's one of the most magical places to camp. Because I have so many Disney videos on my YouTube channel, I just want to let everyone know that I'm inviting you to just take a break. Just, you know, grab some popcorn for the next week or so and just kind of join me. Uh, of course, I'd love to share this with my soulmate one day if that ever happens. But in the meantime, you only live once and I, I just want to enjoy life. I'm doing what I want to do the way I want to do it and it makes me smile. So this is my happy place. So I've got the car to be able to leave, but they've also got transportation. The main thing I think that's going to be working really well here is the e-bike for going around the campground because people rent those uh, golf carts and stuff like my neighbor over there has got a golf cart. You charge it with a plug in at the front of your site. I don't need that. I got a car. I can leave the resort. I can take the bus and I got the e-bike to stroll around. But the main theme here for the next week is to do new stuff. And believe it or not, no matter how many times you've been to Walt Disney World in Orlando, you can always see brand new stuff, do new stuff. There's new activities, there's new rides, there's new restaurants and there's new things to explore. So, so don't worry, I'm not gonna keep this all repetitive and everything, but let me take care of Jax and then we're gonna hop on the e-bike and, and uh, go explore the campground a little more. Something I haven't done too often. Usually I get parked and then I cram a bunch of days into more about my park plans. But for right now, we're just kind of laid back. I'm noticing that my neighbor, well, my empty site across from me actually does have a gnarly, awesome palm tree. That would have been a better site, but they don't let you pick. They put you in. So I'll get back to you in a little bit. We'll go for a bike ride. And so, yeah, we're, we're not even going to talk about the fact that I have my air conditioner on in January. Yeah, I had to turn the air conditioner on to, didn't have to, but might as well. We're paying for the full hookups. There's no reason to not use the air conditioner when it's hot. It can still be warm in Florida. Not uh, Waffle House quality or anything, but I made my uh, bacon and eggs so I can eat outside here. Another thing I wanted to say is that for the next 10 days, yeah, I'm spending 10 days here, I'm gonna be making a video pretty much every other day and taking a day off. So you're gonna see six videos from me every other day, basically, uh, from, from Disney World here in, in Orlando. And I'm pretty sure that in every single video, I'm going to visit a new restaurant, whether that's at a resort. And stay tuned, because at the end of this video, we are going to the beautiful Wilderness Lodge here in this area to eat at the Whispering something. Anyway, <laughs> I, I made a reservation. It's a beautiful place. We'll include it part of this video before we go to bed tonight. And then in the parks, I found some other new restaurants. So I'm excited about doing some new stuff in Disney. I've always been so panicked and on a time crunch and trying to fit as much into everything and then only operating on five or six hours of sleep and walking miles and miles in all the parks. I, I want to do things differently this year, so it's more more laid back. Might not even get to ride all the rides because of all the social distancing and cleaning and, and everything, but I'm interested to see how busy the parks are here tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. We're doing other stuff tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm just happy to be able to have a chance to be here and to support the Disney company because I need it. I was going crazy, man. I really was. It's, it's good for me. Let's go on a little uh, Fort Wilderness campground tour on the e-bike and see what it's like around here, see what's changed, see what's still open, see what hasn't reopened. And we got to go over to the marina over there to see uh, how the construction's going because I was here more than a year ago and they had everything all boarded off by, by, by the water. So let's go see what things look like in the campground, a little tour. All right, 
taking the uh, e-bike for a ride. I want to go try to find the first uh, comfort station here in my loop just to just to make sure my magic band works and to see what it's like. Although, even though they have it, I still prefer showering in my own RV. I don't like public showers. That's just me, you know. And once again, it looks like uh, pedal assist level one is still the, the best, most comfortable for a campground. The best cruising speed around here. Usually these loops have uh, two of these comfort stations, and there it is. Here's some interesting information here on the bulletin board. They got the January th uh, theater schedule for outdoor... Um, it looks like they're doing movies at 8 p.m. And they're doing like bingo and other stuff at 6.30. Isn't this weird? And look at this. Pool. Hours. They got two pools. The shadow pool is 10 to 10. Wilderness pool is 7 to 11 p.m. Oh my. Pools, guys. Remember the last campground association I was a part with? It said, oh no, you can't possibly open a pool during a pandemic. Disney says, hold my beer. I believe this is the laundry room. Time to test out my magic band just to make sure it's linked correctly. Did it do something? I don't think it did anything. Oh, it did, okay. All right, so they got six washers and six dryers. They are $3 to use them. You use a debit card and then select which machine you're gonna use. So if you really didn't bring enough clothes while you're camping at Disney, you can wash them. All right, let's check out the bathroom, if there's nobody in there. Wow, very nice and clean. I'm the only one in here, too. And you have three shower stalls, if that's your thing. Okay. I realized after coming out of the bathroom that those doors aren't actually locked. You can just push them all open without scanning a card or a magic band or anything. So I don't know if they forgot to give me cards. I'm going to head on back to registration and find out if I was supposed to get cards for things. I still don't know if my magic band is truly linked and plus I want to get some information on transit So we're gonna head back to the depot right now. It's also a little test to see uh, if my glasses hold up and don't fog up with wearing the mask I put those uh, wipes on the anti-fog wipes on the inside of the lens and uh, It's working great. That's awesome. Well, this is the lodge. I got some uh, questions answered It's a very very small check-in area and uh, so I'm gonna head out of here I did find out that my magic band is all linked for everything all the restrooms they're keeping open till 10 p.m So until 10 p.m. You just push everything open laundry room restrooms after that you do have to use your magic band and it was linked correctly so that's a good thing so we are good to go i know where i'm going to be going for dinner tonight so let's go over to the transportation depot and take a look over here at the uh, circle d ranch they're getting ready to do some uh, horseback riding you can you can learn they actually teach you before you go out how to horseback ride so that's pretty cool that they're keeping this open even during the whole pandemic and the winter season and everything this is the bus depot where if you're at the campground or the lodge or the cabin you come over here you can you can keep your golf cart here that you rented you can lock up your bicycle you can walk even if you want to or you can drive your car and park your car in the overflow parking and hop on a bus to go to any of the four theme parks you can go to disney springs and then for me what you got to do like if you want to go to another resort like the polynesian or we're going to the wilderness lodge tonight for dinner is you gotta take one of these buses to like Disney Springs and then, and then from there get on a different bus to go back. So it's a little trickier. It's definitely too far to ride a bicycle. I do have the car. I'm gonna think about it. I might still do transit. I've filmed so much transit before that I'm gonna try to keep it out of this, but, but basically it's pretty easy. You can look up at the board and see Magic Kingdom and it says use watercraft there. It's got the buses and the estimated time. And they're actually pretty clean buses. It's not like city buses. There's like very, very little urine on these buses. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's head on up to the uh, Meadow Trading Post to see what is open as far as souvenirs, see if I can get a magnet, maybe I need a new 2021 t-shirt or something, but let's go check out the Trading Post. All right, here we are, Meadow Trading Post. I love the old Western feel and everything. It's awesome. Well, I am happy to see that they have new 2021 Fort Wilderness magnets. That is cool. Got to have one of those. Look at these wooden i love it it looks like splash mountain almost oh those are really really cool it says wilderness lodge on it oh geez and these t-shirts i'd rather be camping it's a kids t-shirt they got rv spare tire covers fort wilderness 
it's pretty cool how they actually embrace the campers and RVers so much. I guess you could stop in here and get something for the park if you forgot something. They've got last minute toys for birthdays and stuff and a few Mickey ears, some sunscreen. Don't see any rain jackets. They got sandals and the spray bottles that you can bring into the parks. Oh, lots of cool hats. Jason got me that one there. Those are cool with the Mickey ears. Oh, I love the retro. That's cool. Whoa, happy, happy glamper. Doesn't have any Disney on it though. I don't see any hats that I have to have. Oh, I have that one. Josh got me this one. <laughs> yep, I brought it. So there's the first 2021 coffee cup I've seen. That's not bad. I'm gonna keep looking though. We got lots of stores to look at this week. That you can even get hard liquor in the cabinet over there. They've got some groceries, like some breads and chips and stuff. Oh, never mind. They've got all kinds of groceries. You can buy your eggs and cheese and look at that. Bud Light. $16.50 for six beers. Yeesh. So you got to pay the Disney price for everything. But still, if you forgot to bring milk, you can get milk. What is that? $3.69 for a half gallon. Okay. Oh, that's a cool Mickey coffee cup. <laughs> Even got some RV accessories in here. Neat. They have some pins that are that say Wilderness Lodge or this one says Fort Wilderness on it. Happy camper. Oh, I like that pin. Yeah, I think just the magnet today. Get back on the bike check out. There's the uh, fishing lake over there. As far as I know, they're still doing the uh, rentals. You can rent fishing poles and kayaks and stuff. Yes, they are renting fishing poles and kayaks and canoes. Oh man, I might have to do some fishing here at Disney World. I do see a watch out for a gator sign in there. I guess they have to put that, but they know. There's the rental place for the bike. Oh, you can rent bikes too. Okay, and there's the canoes. Hmm. So they're actually working on cleaning up the theater right now. She's over there blowing the pine needles off, but here's the sign and here's the, here's the screen. You can watch movies on later tonight right there. And then it's outdoor seating. So that way we can still social distance and have s'mores. And I guess they do some performances here on the stage. Also, uh, I've never done really any of these activities in Fort Wilderness. They might be more aimed towards kids, but they put big, huge Disney movies on here at night, which is kind of cool. There's the meadow swimming pool area open in January. So they have some snacks here. They've got a, a kiddie pool area over there. They got some lounging chairs where you can social distance. And uh, this is their, their main pool, but it's not their only pool. They actually have a more secluded, like adult pool over in the, in the cabin area. And I, did, I do have my swimsuit, so I may go try it later. Okay. Here's a Wagon Trails dog park. It looks like they've got two pretty big yards here that are completely fenced off for your doggies. They also have, um, uh, not that I would recommend it or anything, but if you have to, they have animal daycare available for all kinds of animals even your rabbit gerbil whatever you brought to the campground that you don't want them to be in the rv by themselves while you go to the park you can pay for doggy daycare but then you're not with your pet so i i don't know i i like the idea of keeping the rv climate controlled for jacks or even if i had a dog you know i'd even come back during the day to let them out to go potties and I, I think the park is very pet friendly. Uh, I'm up here at the settlement, and as you can see, the scrim is still, they, I think because of COVID, they actually uh, just stopped working on it. So there's no new improvement <laughs> since I was here a year and a half ago. Everything is still uh, closed up here at the settlement. And I'll also mention that when I was riding, when they were unloading the last bus and I was on my bike, somebody got off the bus and an employee uh, caught somebody and said, Sir, you need to put your mask on. Otherwise, you're going to be asked to leave. Like, he had just gotten off the bus without a mask. So, in case you're wondering, they do actually have people going around. They have paid people to be mask police. And they will tell you to put your mask on or to put it over your nose correctly. <laughs> uh, bless your heart, Disney. Couple other things that did not reopen. Pioneer Hall. The, uh, the show. Unfortunately... Even my restaurant did not reopen. Trails End is closed. They have not reopened since COVID. Jeez, they are just, they've got everything tore up around here. Isn't that crazy? Still, looks like the beach is open though. 
let's go see if PJ's is open. There might still be something open, like a little snack booth or something open. Yeah, see, Crockett's Tavern, still closed. Uh, this kind of worries me slightly. As you can see, they're no longer even advertising Trails End. They have removed the old sign that used to be back here that advertised Trails End, my favorite buffet restaurant in all of Disney World. And now they're just advertising the uh, P&J's Southern Takeout instead. So I'll go check it out and see what they got in there at least. Oh no. Oh, and I don't think it's coming back, guys. They have changed, the, this whole restaurant has been changed over. Oh no. They're even gonna make me look at it. There's Crockett's Tavern. That might reopen. Here's my buffet restaurant. Nothing going on. It's just takeout food now. I got the cinnamon roll there, but I'm gonna try that strawberry cupcake, I think. That's the snacks they got. Strawberry shortcake, yeah. It is possible that the restaurant will come back later. Uh, for right now, it's takeout only. So I'm taking out my strawberry filled cupcake to eat alone and sulk about my restaurant being closed. <laughs> I really have to say this, they're playing Christmas music in the background. Christmas music. All right, so how do you eat a cupcake with that much frosting on it? I don't... Like that, okay, okay. That frosting is not like just all sugar. It's got a lot of strawberry in it actually. Mm. Not bad, not bad. Oh, the old trick There's even strawberry filling inside the cupcake part. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm all hyped up on sugar. Let's go over to the water and check out the marina. There's uh, the Fort Wilderness Landing here, Marina. And there's a boat docking right over there. I believe that boat is going to Magic Kingdom. I think that's the only one that they're operating right now are the boats to Magic Kingdom. Usually there would be boats to other other like resorts that you can go eat at too. All right, well, we'll be back to hop on one of those boats to Magic Kingdom in a few days. In a few days. We've got to start with Disney Springs though, don't you think? Let me go try to find this secret almost hidden pool see if it's even open right now and see if i want to go grab my uh swimming trunks <laughs> here is that second pool i was telling you about a lot quieter over here a couple people in there hanging out i'm gonna go gonna go uh check in on jacks grab my swimming suit and head over here because isn't it everybody's dream to swim at a pool at walt disney world the uh water parks at least one of them is gonna be reopening here in March, they're gonna be reopening one of the water parks. That's pretty cool. And uh, just for clarification, the, the whole mask thing, you, you don't have to wear a mask everywhere. It's only if you can't social distance. So if you're outside and you obviously don't have to wear it in the pool, but the I talked to like a manager here that was at the settlement shop and they said, yeah, you can be outside without a mask, but if you're walking on this trail and someone's coming up, they ask you to put the mask on if you can't maintain six feet. So that's, that's their rule. And I don't feel like they're that picky about it, but I mean, they've spent a lot of money with all the signage and threats to kick you out of the park is all I'm saying. So I would say just do exactly what they say. It's probably worth it not getting kicked out, right? Yeah, let's go swimming though. Don't get me wrong. The, the pool's awesome and all, but they have a hot tub. Oh my Lanta. We are getting inside this hot tub. Oh, and it's so warm. That's it. I want a full refund on everything Disney. A full refund. This is terrible. This is just terrible. Oh, my Lanta. All right. Little little spoiler. I'm, I'm going to give you guys a hint. This, this particular pool that's kind of hidden behind the uh, cabins, you can't even see it on the map. It's not talked about very much. It's not an adult only area. It's just that not too many people know about it. And so I'm letting you know if you want to get away any time of year, pretty much like even in March when it's like this park was crazy before COVID, this hot tub was almost always empty. I always had it to myself. And that pool is usually empty too. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there's three people over there, honestly, because it's, it's usually pretty empty and quiet around here. The way I like it, the way I like it. And isn't it so magical that all of a sudden pools and hot tubs can be back open? What's changed? Uh, I love it though, I love it. Okay, give me a couple hours to just be me 
and then stay tuned because like I said we are going to go over my first time going over to the Wilderness Lodge. I saw some pictures and it just looks stunningly beautiful in there and the food at the restaurant there since I can't do Trails in, so we'll try all that later. I'll figure out all the transportation and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, I have decided to take uh, public transportation over to the Wilderness Lodge over there and I don't want to discourage anyone from coming here, but the, the price is something that uh, tells a lot of people to stay away and go elsewhere. However, just wanted to point out that the neighbors directly behind me, they're outside, so I don't want to point them out, but right over here, they actually are tent camping, and you can tent camp for as little as $69 a night, which is a very, very reasonable rate. In fact, even on the other side of my RV over here, we have more tent campers right here. So you can be parked uh, right next to a tent camper. You could be next to a uh, fifth wheel. It could be a million dollar RV. And every rate is different depending on what you're driving. <laughs> so you're not paying for the site. You're paying for the vehicle that you're bringing into Disney's for wilderness and that can range from like i said 69 dollars a night to upwards of 370 dollars a night in march for a class a rv however here in january it's really reasonable it's about 100 and i, I think my average is i'm paying 120 dollars a night here which is still it's still it's disney it's it's disney price yeah so Gonna make sure this goober right here has enough kitty food and then we'll head on over to Wilderness Lodge. So it is super easy to catch the bus. Every single loop in this massive 900 campsite campground has a bus depot like this with a trash can at the end of the loop by the road. Depending on which side you're going though, you gotta keep an eye on the bus. So I'm going to the settlement so that I can get a ride over to the Wilderness Lodge. So I, that, that's a nice Airstream, that's cool. I am waiting for a bus to come this way, but if a bus is coming that way and you want to go back to the depot, you just flag them down when they're coming and board the bus and yeah, it's pretty easy. They do have a map at all of these little depots that give you the orange, yellow, purple. Those are the three buses that we have currently right now and kind of the routes they take and which one go. But like I said, I got to go to the settlement so that I can find a bus that goes over to Wilderness Lodge. I wonder how much Disney actually spends on hand sanitizers. I mean, they are everywhere. Gotta keep us safe though, gotta keep us safe. All right, here's a yellow settlement bus. This should be us. Stop, stop. Nice. I love Disney cast members. They are so incredibly helpful. I, I actually really got lucky that that bus just continued on to go straight here to the Wilderness Lodge. Let's see if we can see more of the building. No, we gotta. Yeah, I go through here, but he told me where to catch my bus to go back to the campsites also, so that's awesome. Oh man, they have a full arcade in here that looks awesome. However, you guessed it. <laughs> Closed. That sucks. Oh well, what are you gonna do, but ring your bell. Needs more cowbell. Okay, mask up, Eric. Let's be safe. All right, y'all, you are seeing this for the first time right here with me. The Wilderness Lodge. This is the lobby. This is where you check in. I hear water. Hang on. I'm always drawn to... Oh, this is also a Disney Vacation Club resort. So if you're a DVC club member, this is included. Look at this. Oh, okay. Is that, is that how you do it? Cool. And we're not going to talk about the fact that there's still a 40-foot Christmas tree in here in January. Get a load of this. <laughs> this is impressive, y'all. They got a fireplace going here in January. I don't know if they keep this going year round or anything, but that's real fire. That's not a screen. The, ooh, that's really actually warm. Wow. I mean, every little detail. Look at the lamp with the owl on it. Yeah tools <laughs> okay well, it's a little wagon that delivers the firewood for the fireplace that flowing water that we saw inside that was inside the building it comes right out here here's some of the uh, exterior balconies of the rooms of fort wilderness lodge see you don't even need to go to liar river 
you can just go to Disney World. I don't know how much these rooms cost and I'd rather stay in my RV with my kitty cat. Yeah. So remember that cool little toy, <laughs> wooden toy that I saw in the uh, Fort Wilderness store? It's a real thing. It's literally a full size version right here. So if you like this place that much, you can you can buy the souvenir, but it's literally a Mickey totem pole. All right, so we're up on the fifth floor of the Wilderness Lodge now. I mean, just every little detail. Look at these lights with the, the buffalo and, jeez, it is mad. It, you know, look at the little owl up there in, in the wood. It's no wonder they made this a Disney Vacation Club resort. It's got everything, man. It's got everything. <laughs> Including Christmas trees in January. I'm not, I mean, come on, Disney. If I can put my Christmas decorations away on time, you can too. <laughs> All checked in with my uh, di dinner reservations. It says 20 minutes. They always say, Jacob's party of one. What kind of party is a party for one? It's my party. <laughs> Gotta see this view. Yeah. They got a little swimming area down there with some. It's just terrible. You you you, you wouldn't like it. You, just, you wouldn't like it. So here we are at Whispering Canyon Cafe. We are checked in. You do it on your phone, and then they're supposed to text me when my table's ready. All right, the best party in town is the Jacob's Party of One right here. They put me next to the fireplace. It doesn't work. <laughs> It's all good. Got my drink coming. All right, Katy Perry told me to order the famous strawberry margarita here. I'm gonna try it. Not bad. Where's the sugar? I don't like salt. Where's it's a margarita? Ooh, ooh, that's delicious. Also got some coleslaw and some cornbread and butter to get started. Little different here. They don't call it a buffet. They call it an all you care to enjoy, which, which, which is the same thing. Uh, they're gonna bring out my platter later. I ordered the traditional here to see what kind of meats we're gonna get. Um, I don't know. Okay, here we go. The traditional has oak, smoke, mustard, barbecue, beef, brisket, maple, chipotle, pork ribs, slow smoked pulled pork, citrus herb, chicken, western style sausage, smashed potatoes, buttered corn, and sauteed greens. Jeez, look at those mashed potatoes. Did, uh, did I mention it? It's cheat day, like for the next 10 days. Yeah. Just throw it on the ground. No. <laughs> I miss smoke. This is the watermelon margarita, not the strawberry margarita. Hey, I ain't driving tonight. I'm taking Disney transportation, so I got the raspberry mojito. Mojito. Mm -hmm. Keep them coming. It's kind of awesome. They have so many different size skillets here. Those are my three favorite from this restaurant. The mashed potatoes, the pulled pork, and that garlic chicken is awesome. One for my Murph. Mm. None for yours. One for my Murph. Mm. None for yours. One for my Murph. I'm sorry, but none for yours. Love you guys. I gotta shove off. Dipped down under 70 degrees here in Orlando. <laughs> What's up with all the fires? <laughs> For some reason, it actually does feel good. Uh, I'm going to head on back to the RV and check in on Jax and kind of close the video out because I've got a, I've got another big day tomorrow, actually. So this video is getting a little long. I'll check back in when I get back to the RV, guys. <sighs> Finally back, Tater Tot. Did you miss me? All right. I bet Jax missed me. What a day. I feel like you can even overdo it when you don't go to a park. Did you miss a dad? D you didn't. Why'd you shake your head? You shook your head like you didn't miss me. Was that just a flinch? I was kind of hoping you'd miss me and stuff because I missed your face. Your cute little Jack's face. I did. I did. You're a good boy. I know. 
Ooh, I'm a little lightheaded with those drinks. Um, this video is probably really long. Sorry, they will not all be like this. There was a lot to cover. Also, I wanted to mention, speaking of Jax, people give me crap about the whole getting your pet vaccinated and getting your rabies shot and all that because there's so many anti-vaxxer vaccinators and all that stuff going on. Guess what? They do check and they do verify. They need paperwork and proof of your vaccines and your rabies shot for your pet in order to get into this campground. So, Th those of you who say it doesn't matter, you're not going to do it, well, you're you're actually not going to get into Fort Wilderness Campground with your pet that is not vaccinated. Just saying. I'm one of the lucky ones. Jax has never had any problems with his annual vaccines. He is due on sometime this month. I went to check his paperwork and make an appointment. He, he is due to get a few things, at least get away in. We got to find out how he's doing and everything. But anyway, I will see you in two days, and we will go check out Disney Springs and some other new stuff. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye-bye.